Alright, let me show you what I've done. Right here is a rivet that holds on the forward uh, window track. There's actually an angle on it here. I have it. I had clamped it into place, drilled a hole through there, and put a rivet in. Of course, down here, we also see a similar rivet. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can also see the angle on it there. Remember, this is the adjustable track that goes through here. This more or less centers the window where we want it so that it goes up and down properly. One of the things you can see is I do the, uh, the lock mechanism a little different, okay? My way actually allows some play into the uh, thing. I think that's a good thing. We latch this. Okay, watch. Okay, the spring is to help everything return. Now, the driver's side was a little bit harder to do than the passenger side, believe it or not. And I had to make some adjustments to everything to make it work properly. Uh, it's basically installed the same way. You can see that I, I did do a little differently here. Whereas on the, the passenger side, this is actually bolted. I welded this just to see if, what effect it would have. It worked out pretty good. I also made a cut here. You can see the cut. And this allowed me to pull this over a little bit so I had the proper clearance. Remember, we may have to do things to make everything work together. One of the other things I did is this, this rubber here. The channel was a little bit too close. So what I did was I took the rubber off. I marked, I put the window up. I marked the window edge all the way around. And then I trimmed it so we had a nice fit. Okay? Now, you want to know how well it works? Give me one second. And let's see. Let's watch it right here. Okay? Here it goes. It seems jerky. It's because I keep missing the battery post. Here's my battery down here. You see the sparks as I hook it up. Now, we'll put it up again. Give me a second. Sorry about the jerky camera movements. And this is why I don't normally show you me working. It's because it's hard for me to do this. I am right-handed, by the way. Okay. With my left hand. And... Let's see if we can get the movement. And there it goes up nice and smooth. And you can see it's all the way up in there. A real window track, the upper one, is the fixed. This allows us to adjust the forward one, the front one, so that it moves the window to the back. This allows everything to seal nicely. Okay, we got the rubber here that's going to, the rubber is going to prevent it from rattling. It, as you can hear, it doesn't really rattle. This rattle is more, that's your rattle. That's going to be secure later on. You can see there was a bolt hole. I removed the bolt so that while I was doing this, I could actually put the window in. The window went in through the inside. Not fun, but doable. Okay, remember what I said last time we talked, is you want to do these things on a table. Much easier to assemble this on, the, on a table than it is on a car. And it's a lot easier to get your hand in there than you don't have to go up from underneath. Okay. Oh, there's my hand. Okay. I cut these holes a little bit bigger. Remember, all of this gets covered by the door panel. It's not going to be visible and I've lubricated everything. Right now, as it sits, this car could go back together or get painted and everything would be ready to go tomorrow. Thank you.